This document is about how to use diode measurements. Here's the circuit symbol for a diode and its physical appearance. This side is the anode, and this is the cathode. So here's one type of signal diode. Here you can see the anode and the cathode. Here's another type of signal diode. Again, you can distinguish the anode and the cathode. Here are some power diodes. It's not obvious which is the anode and which is the cathode, but the one connection is at this end and the other is at this end. A digital multimeter allows the measurement of several things, such as voltage, current, and resistance. It also allows testing of diodes, including light emitting diodes. So here's a sample multimeter, the Amprobe 33XR. And so the display section looks like this. The control section looks like this. And here we see the setting that's used for measuring diodes. Down here we have the connection setting at the bottom. Here's the common pin. And here is, as shown by the diode symbol here, this is the other pin connection that's used for measuring diodes. So, to check a regular diode, connect it to the leads and observe the reading, and then reverse the leads and observe the reading again. In the reverse bias condition, the meter should show an open circuit, and in the forward bias condition, the meter should show a voltage. So here we go with the diode, and you can see there's the cathode, so this is in reverse bias, so you see that this indicates an open circuit. Now the cathode is over here, and now we see a voltage. It says 0.568 volts. Here we have a different diode. Again, we can see the cathode at this end, showing an open circuit. And now when it's been turned around, again we see a voltage. Now the cathode is at the other end. With the high current diode from before, now we can tell which end is the anode and which is the cathode, because we see this is open circuit, which means it's in reverse bias. And here, now we see a voltage indicating that it's now in forward bias. So the cathode is the connector down at this end. So for checking LEDs, you do the same as for any other diode. In the reverse bias condition, as before, the meter should show an open circuit. In the forward bias condition, the meter should show a voltage. The voltage will be higher for a visible LED than for a regular diode. And for an LED in the forward bias condition, you may notice that the LED will actually be lit, so it'll be on. So here we show a red LED in reverse bias, and again we see open circuit. Now here, when it's in forward bias, you see the voltage is about 1.6 volts. If you remember, for the other diodes it was down around 0.5 or 0.6 volts. Now, it's hard to tell from these pictures, but here we go a little closer in. Here it is in reverse bias. And in forward bias, you see that the LED is actually visibly on. Now here we have a yellow LED. We can tell it's in reverse bias because we see the open circuit. In forward bias, again, we get a voltage of about 1.6 volts. And again, looking up closely, when it's in reverse bias, the LED looks like this. When it's in forward bias, we can see that it's clearly come on. Now with a green LED, which is a higher frequency than yellow or red. We see, again, reverse bias. In forward bias, notice that the voltage is a little higher than it was for the red LED because of the higher energy needed to turn on the green LED. So again, in reverse bias, it's off. Forward bias, we can see that it's on. So now we go to a white LED, which is higher energy than the green. Again, in reverse bias and in forward bias, and you notice that the voltage again is higher than it was for the green LED. And again, here it is off and on. So not only can you check individual LEDs, but you can check LEDs in seven segment displays or bar graph displays the same way. So here is testing one LED from a bar graph LED. Here we have with it off and on. Now there are other LEDs that can be tested, such as infrared LEDs. So here it is in reverse bias and in forward bias. Now notice this voltage is much lower than it was for the red, yellow, or green, or white LEDs. In fact, it's only about 0.6 volts instead of something like 1.6 or more. So for infrared LEDs, because they're infrared, you won't see if they're lit. 
And for some white LEDs, you may not see a voltage either way because the turn-on voltage is too high for the meter to recognize it as an LED. In that case, you should still see a variation in the bar graph display between forward and reverse bias, so you can still recognize it as an LED. So here, for example, is the reading for a white LED in reverse bias. Here we see it in forward bias, where it's on. You'll notice the bar graph has gone down a bit. So there it is forward, there it is reverse. So you'll notice that it does drop some from reverse to forward, but it's still not enough that in forward bias it shows up as a voltage. So, to sum up, a diode is always tested with the power off, preferably by removing it from the circuit with the leads in the common and diode terminals of the meter. In the reverse bias condition, the meter should show an open circuit. In the forward bias condition, the meter should show a voltage. And for an LED, in the forward bias condition, the LED may be lit so that you can see that it's on.